If you are just starting out and want to learn how to make a professional and stunning WooCommerce WordPress website in 10 minutes with a free version of the Cat and Steam, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you all the necessary steps to make a seamless website using WordPress without the need to know any coding skills. Trust me, this is going to be super easy to follow along. Without wasting any time further, let's dive in. To install a theme from your WordPress dashboard, head over to Appearance, Themes, and then you click to have a new one, and you would search here for Cadence. I have already done so, and it's already installed and activated. Cadence theme is a lightweight yet full-feature WordPress theme for creating beautiful, fast-loading and accessible websites. I recommend you accept this prompt to install the starter templates to launch your website design in minutes. It's completely free of charge, so go ahead and click to install. Next, we have two choices of using Gutenberg or Elementor Page Builder, and you can access these choices here at the top, Gutenberg Air Editor. However, it detects automatically, so it knows I'm, I want to use Gutenberg because I don't have Elementor installed on this website. If you go with the Gutenberg option, you will get a better performance score. With Elementor, you are allowed to easily create beautiful layouts with just a few clicks away, but today I'm going to use Gutenberg. It's faster and it's versatile. And next, we find here the Cadence Team templates available for free for using with Gutenberg. We can filter by free only and by business topic. I'm gonna use this template and this is what we got so far. One of the best features of the free Cadence Team is the color scheme and the font family selection. And this means you can easily choose your color scheme and your font family is at the distance of a click. I like this color combination. And to change, all you have to do is to press on any of these options to preview the color changes. And for the font family, they offer different font combinations you can utilize on your WordPress website. If for some reason you don't like any change you've made, you can click on this little icon to clear it. I like this color combination, so I stick with it, but don't forget to scroll through to check your changes throughout the website. To me, it's perfectly fine as it is. To simply import this template, all you have to do now is to decide whether you want to import just a single page or the full site. And let's go with the full site. So click to start importing. You can skip this step. And this now can take a while since it will import all the demo with the pictures and all the plugins that we don't have installed on the website. And once that's done, click to, to view your website. And this is our Cadence Team site. The theme controls the colors, the font, the design layout, the header and the footer areas. And now we can customize as we need to. So use this customize tab up here, and this is the ex exact spot where you have access to the theme customizer options. To start the editing work, just shift click with your keyboard, or just click on this little pencil icon, and it will take you to the corresponding section to start right away to produce your, your changes. You can change the logo, click on the media library. Let's try this one. Skip the cropping. You can change the logo width. And this is actually asked when you work for clients and this is how you do it. You can also style the logo differently. You can use the logo and the title of your website, just like that, or with your tagline. Let's check how this goes for mobiles. To switch over to the mobile view, click on this bottom control. And now let's check as you are viewing, there is no room for these two elements. 
And that's why I switch it to the logo style, the first one. It's beautiful. And there you go. Click publish once you're done. Another thing I like to do on my website is to turn this header full width. To change the main row width, click on this little pencil icon. It will take you to the main row settings where you set it to be a full width. Then to go back to our main menu, just click on this back arrow until you find the general tabs. And this is the place to check the site wide typography and colors. For example, let's click on colors, the global palette colors. You can tweak some of the color tones. For example, let's make it a little bit lighter. Just click on it and then just drag until you find your preferred color tone. And if for some reason you want to restart the colors, all you have to do is to click on this icon to clear all your work. Now go back to the header. Let's come back to the mobile. And I want to change the screen size at which the mobile header comes in so that the mobile header will display all the time. So click on the design tab and this is where you set the width at which the mobile header will be displayed. You can also enable the sticky header and the cadence has five options. I only want to enable the first one Yes, only the main row, since this design layout has no top or bottom rows. So this is the spot where you set the header sticky for mobiles. And this is considered a good search engine optimization option. You can take that moves as you scroll through. However, keep in mind, sticky menus also comes with a few drawbacks. And this really depends on the primary job of your page. But since I have this WooCommerce site, I'm expecting that my users stay on the page. So I recommend that you enable it in this case. And you can also activate this option, enable, reveal stick on scroll up. And this will make the mobile header sticky, but only when the user is scrolling up. In case you need a fully detailed video tutorial for Cadence Team Headers, I've done a lot of videos about this topic. So make sure you check my Cadence Team playlist. Go back to the footer menu now. So click on this icon, select the footer, and let's insert a border, a top border. So click on this little icon. We are using this structure layout and in the design tab, Let's assign a border, so click on this icon. I want this one. Then all you have to do now is to select the color you want to apply with the two pixels radius. In the general tab, let's assign a full width to the container. Click on the full width, and as you are viewing, all of a sudden it became a full width. Going to mobile now, click on this control icon, and let's check. I think I need to fix the column spacing, this one, since my widgets are overlapping, so I drag it under the widget spacing, I assign 150. And the rest one is pretty cool. Okay, you can insert new widgets to your footer area. Let's go back to the desktop view. Let's delete the bottom footer image with the payment method. It corresponds to this one, to this widget. You delete it by clicking on the plus icon. And now to add a new widget, click on the plus icon and let's add the social media block. To determine the social widget settings, click on this icon and let's align the content or the social media to the left, just like that. And you can also change the item spacing, this one, amps, and there you go. And you can also assign the content vertical to the middle so that it perfectly align horizontally. Now to customize your mobile navigation area with the cadence theme, click on the header 
menu and then go mobile. Then the off canvas corresponds to what you see when you click the mobile toggle on a mobile device. And to customize the off canvas, click on this off canvas and this will bring up the panel that allows to set which side panel shows from it or if it is covering the whole screen. You can set it as a full width, as a side panel, left or right. Next up, I want to have image switch feature on over for WooCommerce product archives. We first need to add images to an individual product gallery and the image will be displayed on over. It will be pulled from the first inserted image in your your product gallery. So to do that, let's first add images in this product gallery option. When you select the images from your media library, I attach six images and press shift on your keyboard to select them all. Head to gallery and next up, navigate to customize WooCommerce product catalog and locate product image over switch option at the bottom and from there you can choose which style of switch you'd like you have fade slide a zoom effect and flip flip effect and that's how to have an image switch on over in WooCommerce with the Cadence Free theme. Next stop, I'd like to change the shop page design layout. Under the button style, I change it to always visible. And in this bottom style, I change it to be a button. With this option to a light button to add the button. And now to customize the single product layout, click on it and you can change the product design layout. You have five options, the narrow, the full width and with left and right sidebar. Next up, I want to talk about the permalink settings. Head over to settings and then permalinks. Don't ever skip this step. This is very relevant. Click now on the permalinks option. Uh, a permalink is the permanent URL of your posts, pages, and WooCommerce products. So it's the URL structure and they define how the search engine understands and reads your content. I recommend you change it from the standard plain or day and name to this one, post name. And then you save your changes. And the next step, I want to talk to you about the WordPress admin dashboard. In this WordPress dashboard, you get a quick overview. And this is the place where you manage every aspect of your site, ranging from configuring essential settings to publishing content or to installing plugins and themes, and you should be familiar with it. WordPress components are highly intuitive. At first sight, you get, you view two menus. The menu to the left includes most of the configuration and publishing tools that you will use on a daily basis. At the top of the screen, there is a navigation menu that enables you to jump back and forth between the front end and the dashboard. To create and manage pages and posts, you will use the page and the post tab entries. Selecting either option will send you to a page or to a post that lists every page or post you have created. And next, I'm gonna show you how to create a new page. So you click on the add new. You are welcome to the new WordPress blog editor. Close it up. You give it a name, Torgo for me is fine. And from here, you make your new page design with the help of the free cadence blocks. Or you can use the design, the cadence design library to add your content. And next I want to show you how to change the menu order. 
We haven't created a menu. The one I got, and you access the menus by going to appearance and then menus. As I was saying, the menus I got, it was imported to my website by the Cadence starting templates. So from this menu, you have access to the four menus created with the starter templates. So to start editing, you select one, then press this button, and here are the, the menu links. And these are all custom links. You can open it up, expand this, by clicking on this down arrow, you set here the location if you need to. And you can also sort them out by selecting and drag and drop to whatever you want. You can turn it a sub-menu. And once you're done and you are happy with your menus, you click on the Save Menu. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, I will talk to you in the next video.